Hey guys, I'm looking at probably my favorite fish tank. Of course, how can you have favorites, right? <laughs> this is our swordtail tank. And uh, guppies and swordtails are in here right now. Um, our major boy swordtail passed on. We don't know how old he was because um, just from talking to people in fish stores, you know, they take fish from other people and stuff. So we have, he was big when we got him, so we have no idea how old he was. But he did produce quite a few babies with his two females because all the babies that you see in here, and there are a ton of them, are from them. And then we actually have some guppies in there too, but the swordtails actually had more babies than the guppies, which was kind of amazing, I think. So... There's lots and lots of sword tails, but the male, yesterday, he passed on, so the now, females are still doing yeah, the females, and as you can see, she's loaded with babies, so she'll even have, even have more babies. The mother guppies ready to have little ones, too. Yeah, the mother guppies. Well, in this one here, I can't tell if she's expecting or not, which she probably is expecting, because... Um, her gravit spot is not dark, so, but you can see that this tank is a beautiful orange, and look at all those fish. And that's all from two females and a male, and when, when did we get these guys, August? Yes. So you can see, and then plus... It's December now. Yeah, it's December. So and then if you see all those babies up there, too, hiding out, so they were good producers. So this tank here is eventually, unless we change our mind, this is tank number one, is going to be just the sword tails. Because they're a little bit bigger than everyone and they like to munch. I mean, these guys all eat, eat fish, eat fish. And so, but they look really pretty with the guppies, but we'll probably move the guppies in their own tank and keep the mollies and the platies together. But we'll see what happens. And he's kind of cool. If you see him, he's got like spots on him. And Clay taught me this when we had the guinea pigs. And he's kind of taught me the same thing with the fish. That, you know, you get a fish and you think, oh, they're all going to be the same color. Well, this guy came from somebody. And look at him. <laughs> and this guy, this one here, I saw a guppy in the store. And he's like, oh, look at that pretty blue guppy. Well, my guppy gave me a pretty blue guppy. <laughs> right? So, I don't know. No rhyme or reason with the guppies, I guess. And, it, they say that people that try to breed them, it's hard because they can hit, go, go what, like two years. They, like once, they're not like, they don't have their babies all at once. They What they'll do is is all the live bearers, they're pretty much the same. Like they might have a whole bunch. They'll stay pregnant or they'll have uh, fertilized eggs, let's say. Almost like a, almost a year or two. Almost like a chicken. You know, they'll they'll have their babies. Like you think they're... Yes, they're having babies every 30 days, a lot, but then they'll also can shoot their babies off almost any time. So, it's just weird. Because I know a couple of times I'm like, well, we don't have a male in there. And like Clay's like, you'll see, they'll have babies. Because <laughs> we, uh, we lost the male guppy, remember, in the mm -hmm. beginning? And she was carrying <laughs> for a while, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure, I don't know for a while, but she had babies. So I don't know. Like I said, but they do, um, if anybody, an experienced breeder will tell you that, um, like they can have babies, like once they get, like I just said, once they get pregnant, it, you can have, get a single guppy and a year later get a baby, right? But isn't that pretty? Okay, guys, so there's the fishers. There's the baby fish. And we have uh, one neon. And like we said, when we bought them, we didn't know how old they'd be. So we ended up with, what, six neons, and only one ended up surviving. surviving. And the same thing in the other tank with the zebra. Uh, zebra. Nine, and we only have two left. We only have two left, so it's just, it is what it is. If you're gonna... They were all adult fish, too, so it's kind of. When you buy adult fish, you take a chance of how old they are. Yeah. When you buy baby fish, you got a good chance of knowing how long they'll survive. 
Yeah, so, and it's hard because, you know, a lot of times you don't know, and sometimes you want to see the colors, and if you buy babies, you don't always see the colors, and things like that, so. And see her gravit spot, that's that little dark spot on her, that's where her babies are. Okay, guys, so remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.